October 23, 2021 Daily Devotion A Devotion on the Book of Acts In the darkness we were waiting Without hope, without light Till from heaven you came right There was mercy in your eyes To fulfill the law and prophets To a virgin came the word From a throne of endless glory To a cradle in the dirt Praise the Father For our scripture reading, please read Acts chapter 19, verses 23 to 41. You shall not have other gods before me. It is written in John 14, verse 15, If you love me, keep my commands. Exodus 20, verses 3 to 5 stated, You shall have no other gods before me. You shall not make for yourselves an image in the form of anything in heaven above, or on the earth beneath, or in the waters below. You shall not bow down to them or worship them, for I, the Lord your God, am a jealous God, punishing the children for the sin of the parents to the third and fourth generation of those who hate me. These are not my words, but the words of the Lord, and it is wise for us to heed them. God's commandments are not suggestions or options for us to choose. 
If we truly love God, we would submit, surrender, and obey His commandments. We see many statues and images around us, some even inside our houses and offices, representing someone or something. Idols that, if we are truly honest, we are worshipping and bowing down to. Often, we just dismiss it, saying it is only a tradition, culture, and practice. It's very clear from the scripture, you shall not even make an idol of any form and bow down to it. If we do not heed this warning, there are eternal consequences mentioned, like God punishing up to our fourth generation. Please be very careful and read this again and again. This is non-negotiable. May this truth set us free. As the gospel was proclaimed in Ephesus, Satan was not willing to let go without a fight. He used Demetrius to start a riot against Paul and his companions in the hopes of driving them away to protect their business interests. It was amazing how the people present didn't even know what they were doing there. Isn't this familiar in our political campaigns? People gathered there really don't know about the concerned issues, but were just paid to add to the numbers. For certain people, religion is just a front. Their real god is money. Demetrius, who made silver shrines of Artemis, brought in a lot of business for himself and other craftsmen. In verses 25a to 27, he stated, You know, my friends, that we receive a good income from this business. And you see and hear how this fellow Paul has convinced and led astray large numbers of people here in Ephesus and practically the whole province of Asia. He says that gods made by human hands are no gods at all. There is danger not only that our trade will lose its good name, but also that the temple of the great goddess Artemis will be discredited, and the goddess herself, who is worshipped throughout the province of Asia and the world, will be robbed of her divine majesty. So they incited a riot against Paul and his friends. Why is the business of making idols big? History and the current situation inform us that in different cultures, places, and religions, people always have this inclination to bow down, pray, and worship man-made and visible statues and idols instead of the Lord. Romans 1 verses 21 to 23 and 1 Corinthians 10 verses 19 to 20 tells us the power behind these idols. Many people are trapped in this kind of cycle, and Satan sees to it that they are kept in the dark. Idols are not necessarily statues or images, but anything that takes the first place of God in our lives. Our idols could be our work, social media, position, fame, fortune, or anything. Be very careful with this because the wrath of God will be in those who insist on these kinds of practices. Psalm 78 verses 58 to 59 states, They angered him with their high places. They aroused his jealousy with their idols. When God heard them, he was furious. He rejected Israel completely. Demetrius' first concern was his pocket, and he used religion to trigger a riot to protect his business. It was tragic that many people believed him. They were used by him and led astray because of his self-interest. Many refused to listen to the gospel presented by Paul and joined the riot. These actions have eternal consequences. What happened to the great temple of Artemis? The temple was destroyed by invading Goths in 262 AD and was never rebuilt. God's promises will always happen, sooner or later. My friends, are we for God or against Him? If we say we are for Him, then we ought to obey His commandments. Reflection The temple of Artemis or Diana in Ephesus was one of the seven wonders of the ancient world. Various names were given to her, including the title Queen of Heaven. This title was also given to the goddess Ishtar, a Canaanite goddess, Ashtoreth, and Anat. They are known as fertility goddesses. It is clearly pagan in nature and meant for these pagan goddesses. 
today, the title Queen of Heaven that was meant for these goddesses is still being used. Please read Jeremiah 7. And may we understand God's heart and what arouses His holy anger. Again, the Lord commanded, You shall not have other gods before me. May the truth set us free. Prayer Lord, we know that man looks at the outward appearance, but you look at the heart. There are many instances that I have not given you your rightful place in my heart to be my Savior, Lord and Master. I am still the master of my life. I have entertained idols in my heart, whether they are real idols or anything that takes away my focus from you. Forgive me, Lord. I repent of my sins. There are no other gods besides you, because you are the King of kings and Lord of lords. Empower me to stand firm in your word, and may your truth set me free. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen.